Hey guys, we're out in the greenhouse. It's the 20th of May, which for us is the magic date that at this latitude and we're right at about 45 degrees north. Uh, we have 15 hours of daylight and safe to put out pretty much all strains of cannabis at that point. So here we have the two multi-strain plants that we've been growing indoors for a while that we have a bunch of different varieties grafted onto. Over here is a lemon sour diesel and over here is the elephant. I had to actually step out of the greenhouse for a while. Uh, not only was I overheating, but my iPhone stopped working because it was too hot. Anyway, so you can see I've broken off most of the dirt here and there aren't very many new roots there's a couple here but it's a very weak root system it hasn't really grown much at all on this elephant so it's definitely going to be happy to get out here uh you know do some interacting with the soil food web all right so here's the lemon sour diesel and you can see this one has lots of fresh new roots just coming to the surface recently um the whole soil mass is being held together by the root system not falling apart easily and there's some stretching up to the top so this one's clearly doing a lot better just on the roots itself so it'll be interesting to compare this kind of more vigorous um start to the elephant which you can see is sitting nice and tucked in full its mulch waiting for its wood chips um, so yeah, it'll be a good comparison to compare one that has lots of vigor to one that doesn't have lots of vigor going into the ground. I suspect that what will happen is that this one will catch up to the other one in no time. Uh, just being having access to the soil, nice cooling conditions in there, all the mulch, all the life in there. Last year we planted some like we're doing here on May 20th. We planted some at the end of July. And those pretty much caught up to the other ones, especially, you know, with the amount of trimming we do. And even then it was just too much. Unfortunately, it didn't quite work out to get a harvest. But um, yeah, I also convinced some of my friends last year to plant one in August. And he still got a large bush out of that. So, you know, no reason to rush it. Uh, things will catch up. And I think it's better if you have the ability and the will to try for multiple harvests rather than one big one to kind of so your all your eggs aren't one all in one basket in case things don't go your way all right so we're gonna go ahead and get these planted in covered in mulch no watering at all you can see that there's plenty of moisture in the soil uh, rainy season is coming to an end here. It's kind of an abrupt end this year. All right, so I've moved the potatoes out here in the shade of the currant bushes. You can see how nice those are doing. These are the red currants just getting ripe. I've also put out the um, Solanaceae starts, the eggplants, the peppers, and the tomatoes out here as well uh they were just really struggling in the heat of the greenhouse i was having to water them every single day and out here they're just going to do a lot better in the shade and really they're ready to go out in their final position Let's see how well this black currant bush is doing uh got some aphid damage here but as we spoke before that only encourages the predators or the aphids and soon it's going to be way too hot for them anyway. And the fruit isn't going to be affected. And most of this is going to be chopped off as soon as we harvest. But yeah, see lots and lots of fruit developing on there. Oh, and actually if you look... I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but there are these little yellow glands on the surface. They're on the underside of the leaf and on the stems. And those are the, um, the ones that produce that, you know, that uh, 
classic current black current smell. It's almost like little trichomes, but without the stock. I don't know if you can see that. All right, just as I move the container grown potatoes out of here, you can see it is revealed. Some nice young potatoes growing from these ones planted in the ground. So we'll go ahead and cover those up to get them to keep on swelling up a little bit more. But as you can see, that's pretty much ready to harvest. And the kind of rule of thumb that tells you when there will be young potatoes ready to harvest is that generally correlates for most varieties with the flowering. And usually when the first flower clusters come out, there should be some young potatoes ready to harvest. And again, it will depend from variety to variety, but you can see some flowers there, some there. Uh, a lot of potatoes, the uh, flowers are basically kind of um, inactive and fertile. They don't set, uh, but some do produce uh, the little berries, which are poisonous. And believe it or not, we're still getting some wine cap mushrooms coming up. They look a lot different in this dry form. This is definitely going to be the end of the flush. I mean, if you wanted to, you could probably continue it with watering. I mean, look at all these pinners here. Um, but it doesn't look like we're going to get much more rain until the fall, basically. So that'll be the end of that, and mycelium will go in kind of a more dormant stage. But you know, they've got tons of moisture down there. I mean, it's just half an inch below the surface. So they'll just do just fine. But you can see we've been getting these guys to fruit basically two and a half months straight now. So that's pretty amazing. And then they'll, they'll start fruiting again in the fall. So two, f two major flushes in one year. All right, so I think that's gonna do it for today, guys. Uh, I'm just picking some stuff here for dinner. I think we're gonna have some kohlrabis. Those are a good size. By the way, kohlrabi is probably my favorite brassica. If you've ever had um, the core of a cabbage, like a peeled core, or like the inside of a broccoli stem, it's exactly like that. In fact, it is just a swollen stem. And there's another one down there. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.